In this video, we're going to look at the sublimation of iodine. So when we add solid iodine to hot sand, we have a hot plate underneath there, you can see right away we start getting a purple gas. That is iodine gas. And with sublimation, we're going directly from a solid to a gas without passing through a liquid phase. So you can see here that after a while, when that gets even hotter, we get a lot more of that purple iodine gas, which is escaping through the top of the beaker. So we can actually capture that gas. Right now it's escaping through the top of the beaker, but we can put a piece of glass on there, a watch glass, with ice on it, and that's really cold, and that's going to change the iodine gas back to a solid. It won't go through a liquid phase. It'll go directly from the gas to a solid, and that will stick on the bottom of the glass. Here's what it looks like from the top. You can see the ice, the watch glass, and then you can start to see that the crystals of iodine are forming underneath. So after a while, the crystals will have formed on the bottom of that glass, and you can see them here sort of dangling down from the watch glass. If we were to take that watch glass off and look at the crystals, they look something like this. So here in this video, I'm actually taking the watch glass off. You can see the iodine gas escaping, and then you can see those iodine crystals there. So that's the sublimation of iodine. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.